In our previous episodes, we remembered how the miraculous medal devotion began. Our Lady appeared to St. Catherine Labouré in 1830 and instructed her to have medals made according to the impression shown to her. We also reflected on the imagery and inscription found in the medal, which contained our belief in the Immaculate Conception. In 1832, the Archbishop of Paris permitted the production of the medals. Later on, in 1836, the Holy See approved the Marian apparition and the medal. What does the Church teach about devotional medals? We consider the miraculous medal as a sacramental. The Catechism defines it this way. As a sacramental, the miraculous medal reminds us of God's victory over the serpent, whose head was crushed by Mary through her obedience and participation in God's work of salvation, and as seen on the back of the medal by the sacrifice of Christ on the cross. It also reminds us that Our Lady, who is full of grace, shares with us God's graces by praying and interceding for us. As she stood at the foot of the cross, accompanying her son Jesus, she also accompanies us. Being reminded of these, we hope to come closer to God, who is the source of all grace. This is the reason why it is counted as a sacramental. Our Lady told St. Catherine Labore that all who would wear her medal will receive great graces. So friends, may we be clear, we wear the miraculous medal as an expression of our devotion to Our Lady. This sacramental is meant to bring us closer to God. The graces we receive thanks to the prayer and intercession of our Mother come from God. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to Thee.